What's up, guys? I wanted to do a quick video. I like to keep them happy and upbeat, but really, like, this one's not happy and upbeat. So interest rates, you know, over the past couple days have shot way up. Now we're seeing a national average as of this morning. Uh, the, today's the 15th. We saw a national average of six and a quarter. So if I was quoting you 4% back uh, in a couple months ago, you know, now I'm quoting you six and a quarter. You're looking at about, you know, my average loan amount is about $475,000. So on average, my buyers are now going to be spending $520 a month more than what I was originally quoting you, about almost $700 a month on a $500,000 loan. So, um, you know, that's changing some things. What does that mean for our market? Where are we at? You know, I'm seeing sellers still price their houses high. I'm seeing houses probably going to sit on the market a little bit longer. I had somebody calling me last week about a $200,000 house saying, hey, man, you got any buyers? My seller's motivated needs to get out of this thing. That was, was on a $200,000 house. In a, it was a rural area, but still. <clears throat> so what's going on, man? I don't, I don't know. I, I'm watching. I'm reading the industry news like I usually keep up with, and not, not many people are talking about it because I think the fact is is nobody knows what's going on. You know, the feds are expected to come out today and, and announce another 1% hike on interest rates. So they're really fighting hard to curb the inflation. They talk about 80-something percent of our money that's in circulation right now was printed within the last two years. So everybody just started spending like crazy, driving prices up. Um, so what does that mean for the housing market? What if you're looking to buy a house or what if you're a real estate agent, you're looking to help your people? Most people I'm talking to right now are like, hey, wait a minute, I'm just going to sit tight. Don't freak out. The media is going to take this and they're going to spin it like we're in this massive recession and everything's falling apart and we're going to go into a global crisis. Look, guys, we saw this. Uh, I remember seeing this back in 2011, 2012 when the government lowered rates and then they raised them back up real fast and the market did pause for a couple months and then everything just kind of leveled itself back out. The fact is we still have people here in Middle Tennessee that are moving to this area. The fact is they still want to buy a house. The fact is we still don't have enough inventory for compared to the amount of number of people that are buying. I think we'll see the number of people buying right now shrink. People will sign another 12-month lease. Um, so I think maybe, you know, the days of sellers testing the market are probably over and you're going to see some price reductions. Don't freak out because I don't really consider that a price reduction. I see it back to where you should have listed it to begin with, but you were really trying to test the market and list it really high anyways, right? So that's kind of the fact of the matter. I think we'll, we'll get back down to a more reasonable price. I think the media is going to spin it way out of, uh, way out of proportion and it's going to freak a bunch of people out, scare a bunch of people. But I say, hang, hang out, man. Enjoy your kids. Enjoy your summer. We may have a we may have a crazy summer. You know, I was just looking at my number of loan applications. We're down. You know, normally May, June, July is August is our busiest months, and I'm and I'm uh, you know taking so many loan apps, I can hardly take a breath. But now that's not really the case this year. So you know, we'll see how it goes. My company's in a good position. We're in a good position. You know, we paid off the mortgage last year and and, and been saving a lot of money to anticipate this coming. So. You know, I'm looking at it now like I need to put my company in the best position to be able to better serve my clients. And uh, what does that look like? That probably looks like mortgage companies are going to have to lower their margins. We're not going to be able to make as much money on a transaction. We're going to have to lower our, our, uh, our fees to be able to compete in this market. And uh, that's exactly what I'm doing. So uh, anyways, if you guys need me for anything, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I hope everybody's off to a good summer. See you.